am I the only one that thinks that Black China's lawyer may be trying to sabotage her or has always been sabotaging her? I know, I know. I know that I sound, it, it sounds bad, but let me explain. But before I do explain, guys, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified every time I post a new video. All right, guys, I know, I know, I know I sound so mean, but I mean, I've been watching this case with Black China against the Kardashians, and you know, I've been trying to be nice to Linciani, but I, I, I have my questions, I have my doubts about her, and I feel bad, but I have to let you guys know why. So today, Linciani filed a motion to get Judge Alcaron removed from the case because she, in her in her own words, says that he's undeniably hostile and extremely biased towards Black China, right? And she provided evidence that says that he was. And you know what? I there has been uh, uncovering that this judge has been accused of being. Um, has been accused by other lawyers, hundreds of hundreds and thousands of lawyers going after uh, Judge Alcaron stating that he is, uh, he, he accepts bribes, he is corrupted, he leans towards the famous, he is all types of stuff now, right? So she has a case, right? But it's going to be a lot harder than if she had done it in the beginning, which is my first argument against why I think Linciani may be throwing the case. Like, is she working with the Kardashians? Remember, she could be getting paid twice, right? She could be getting paid from Black China, trying to make, give her hope that this case might go through. And then she could get paid from the Kardashians for throwing the case, right? Because Black China, I'm sorry, but she kind of looks like she kind of is pretty gullible. She seems like a gullible girl. And she let the Kardashians play her multiple times. I think she's been play like, I just feel like she's kind of gullible. And I want to just like, let me, let me, let me, let me look a little bit deeper into this. Right. So follow me, follow me, please do. Right. If you look into it, so, so if you look into the database of all these lawyers complaining about Judge Alcaron, even workers of Judge Alcaron were complaining about him, right? But you will also see in, what is, in a lot of the reviews that they said that as soon as they see that Judge Alcaron is the judge presiding over the case that they're about to, to work, they immediately remove him from over the case. So there is an option that Linciani could have taken way before this case even happened, right? And she has access to the very database that we all saw that shows that Judge Alcaron is a corrupted judge. Now, when you are going against this massive giant, right? You're going against this massive giant of a company. They are billionaires, they are famous, they are all these things. So the first thing, you know, since you're the one that's pressing charges, right? You're the one that is accusing the person. You can, you're the one that's going to kind of pick the judge, right? So if I was, you know, if you were designing over a certain case like this, the first thing you want to think about is like, are they fangirls? You're going to want to pick a judge that is kind of more biased against them, against people like them, right? You have pe you have reviews like that for a reason. You ask around like, hey, which judge doesn't really, they can't stand the Kardashians, right? Because regardless of whatever, the judge can kind of influence the jury a little bit. And they, and that judge did by, by there's so many evidence that he did influence the jury because he is presiding. He is the, like the ruler of the courtroom. So people kind of go with his pace. So in, in the courtroom, they were getting a lot of special treatment. It resonates with the jury. So anyways, Linciani could have done this the easy way, right? The first thing you want to do is make sure the judge is not fangirl. And that also the second thing you want to make sure they don't have is the ability to be bribed. 
those are the two things that you have to be afraid of. Like you cannot be a lawyer that doesn't expect that there are judges that can easily be bought and fangirled out, right? So the, just like there are lawyers with way smaller cases, they saw Judge Alcoran, they removed him immediately. It would make so much sense to have had Linciani remove this man immediately. Like just make sure she did the research. How the hell did your client end up with a judge that is clearly more biased towards Kardashians based on his own record and you allowed it to preside over, right? All right. Then, secondly, she 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 didn't really punch back a lot, right? She didn't punch back at very hard during the case. She kind of let them defame her and defame her even more. Um, a lot of lawyers were saying that she didn't say objection enough. She did not say hearsay. There was a lot of hearsay that was happening. She allowed it to go on. And you know what? The defamation happened to, the defamation kind of ended up being even more worse than before, right? Linciani only did her biggest punch after everything was done. She had, she finally had a punching moment, but with the judge himself at the very end. Right. So the judge was so angry at her that he walked out and he never came back. They were having a shouting match. So at the end of her case, when she's about to get uh, when she's about to get her stuff, you have a you finally punch. But you punch at the judge and the jury is paying attention to you going out back and forth with the judge. It influences the jury. Seeing the judge upset with one side over the other influences the jury. Right. Hey, this is my opinion, guys. Hey, I, I'm not trying to say she's throwing the case, but I don't know if she has, she might have a mole. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if Linciani is a mole in her camp. Okay? You got to think about it this way. Linciani could be getting double paid. Not only are you getting paid by Black China, but you could also be getting paid by the Kardashians to throw the entire case. Now you are going to do an appeal. You're going to get more money to file this appeal, right? And then you put this strong rhetoric inside the appeal. This appeal is going to be hard to do because as far as I heard, it's the judge himself who has to decide to remove his own self from the damn case that you're trying to remove him from, right? Let's say he says hell to the knob, bitch. Oh, let me stop. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but I mean... If I was a judge and you talking to me all hostile like that, I'd be like, no, bitch, I'm staying on this dumbass case and I'm going to make sure that you lose and you get no fucking money. And in fact, I'm going to make sure that you have to pay for their lawyer fees. So you now you got to pray. Now you got to pray the holiest prayer to make sure that he's not pres- that he, you actually get what you asked for and he does not preside over the case. Right. I don't know. It's a big stretch. Like everything she's doing is a little bit sus, guys. And I mean, I'm just saying, I can't be the only one who's kind of feeling like Linciani is like, you know, to have her foot in both ponds a little bit. You know, I'm not. Maybe she's not. I'm not trying to say it like this is not factual, but I'm just looking at it as for what it is. And I wouldn't be surprised if Linciani is a mole and is throwing the case because she's doing a lot of things backwards. She could have filed a mistrial. She could have done a lot of things that she has not done. She keeps acting like she keeps getting bravado, but like it's never going anywhere. Like, I don't know what this is. It's a big money grab. She's going to get a lot of paid. I wouldn't be surprised if Kardashians are paying her too. But you guys, tell me what you guys think. You Do you, th- do you trust Linciani? Do you trust her with Black China? Anyways, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel to become an official roomie. Okay. All right, guys, have an amazing day. Stay blessed. Peace.